Welcome to Playtime with Grandpa Bob. Hi, Robbie, Charlie, Ross, and Miles. It's Grandpa Bob. Today, I'm going to tell you about something else I used to like to do when I was a little boy. When I was younger, I used to love to play tennis. I used to go out sometimes in my in my front yard and hit my, the tennis ball against my garage door or maybe go play at a park hitting it against a wall or at my school hitting the ball against the wall and I used to really like that and I'd play tennis with friends and with my family a lot but sometimes when I was bored and I didn't have anybody to play tennis with what I used to like to do is just to practice balancing a tennis ball on my racket like this and um, I'd, uh, I'd see how long I could bounce it sometimes on my racket, and sometimes I go low, or sometimes I go higher, and I just try to keep it in one place as much as I could. And then when I got really good about that, what I used to do is try to turn my racket over and alternate sides. Maybe do a couple times on each side, or just switch every time. And I, did, I could do that for a long time when I was younger. As you can see, I'm not as good at it anymore as I used to be. But I used to be able to keep it in one place for just forever. And sometimes I'd make it go really low and, make, and faster, or it'd go higher and slower, a little bit easier that way. But anyway, that's what I used to do. And then you, get, you can catch it on your racket and do different tricks with it on your racket. It was kind of fun. Anyway, so this is really important too, because when you're playing tennis, one thing that's really important is to have a really good feel for the tennis ball. So you know right where it is, you can have real good touch on your shots and be able to place them really well. And if you get, doing this kind of game kind of helps you to develop a real good touch for the tennis ball, a real good sense of where your racket is and stuff. So it's kind of a fun game that way too. Anyway, just a fun thing that I used to do. I thought I'd share it with you. Another thing you can do is you can also do the same thing with a pickleball. See? And I've, shown, I've shown this to Robbie before. You can do this with a pickleball. What's fun is to see how many times in a row you can do it. Maybe count and see how many times in a row you can do this game. Maybe you can get to 10 and then 20, and then maybe 50 or 100 in a row. That's kind of a fun game. You can also do it with the same thing with a ping pong paddle. On one side, like this, or maybe two sides like this. This is a lot harder with a ping pong ball. You gotta really practice a lot to be able to do this with a ping pong paddle and a ping pong ball. It's just a little more sensitive, you know? Don't have as much um, margin for error with ping pong. Anyway, isn't that kind of a cool thing? Just thought I'd share that with you. Hope you're all having a great day and have a great summer. And maybe you can have fun playing with a paddle and a ball and do some trick some cool tricks like this sometime. Hope you guys have a great day and a great summer. Love you.